We're at the 2016 SHOT Show range today, and I'm here with Todd with Paradigm SRP, and he's going to show us their stabilization platform. Todd? That's right. Looking nice forward to it. Uh, what we have here, and I've developed a, a gyro-stabilized weapons platform that uses the operator's level uh, weapon. So it stabilizes their shot to be able to do uh, whatever weapon they want to shoot from moving platforms such as airborne, it, helicopters, uh, boats, and ground vehicles. So we have a 65 pound system that can go across the board very quickly and easily. We have quick connect mounting hardware that mounts it back and forth from vehicle to vehicle. So you don't need one, one platform for every vehicle. It runs a battery pack system. It runs a mil spec battery. The mil spec battery runs the system autonomously for up to two and a half hours of continuous use. Uh, it is true active stabilization, so we have a wide angle cam as well as a scope cam to record your image. It's your scope, your rifle, and your dope. So if we're wanting to hold on a target, if we're wanting to hold on a target, you can see that we have it on a rocking table that's moving. So if I take the stabilization off, it's going to just go nuts. With 9 power magnification, there's no way I could take the shot. So. If I turn the uh, stabilization back on, bring it up on target, we have a remote trigger activation device. I can actually fire enable, send power to the unit, and go ahead and send the shot. Put the crosshairs where you want it, send it. Multiple shots, no problem. Nice. We can see our hits on target. Uh, we have a 2,000 meter laser range finder, which gives us our range overlay on the screen. It also has target tra active target tracking. We can track moving targets automatically and then make adjustments and take firing, uh, put a firing solution in our scope and take the shot. Has this got uh, wireless capabilities? or Right now it doesn't. We're working, we're working with it because uh, our latency, as far as the speed, we make sure, and our security, we're working with a company that already does that with weapon systems to get that capable to do that. So, so record everything? Yeah, we can record now everything. We have a BNC output there and a BNC output here. So we can go to a recording device, a downlink, so for command and control, they can see the sniper's scope, exactly what the sniper sees, you know, and give a give a green light, you know, red light situation right there. Uh, uh, any weapon limitations as far as platforms? Right now, up to 300 wind mag is what it's rated for. So we generally use semi-automatic weapons be for the multiple shot capability and not having to manipulate the system. But we can do mag changes and manipulate the system, whatever we want to do, immediate action drills, have access to the system, and not have to re reset the gyros. The servo motors allow us, the, the brushless servo motors allow us to come right back on target and take targets, and then we can also swap from wide angle to scope view very quickly so we can go from target to target and reacquire targets very quickly. Yeah, I'm going to let you do it and I'll talk you through it. Alright, talk me through it. So this is the joystick control over here. The control over there is for drift. We can put user drift in. We won't need that. But if the target was moving, I could, I could go ahead and put some drift in, see how it's drifting, right. to stay with the target. This will reset the drift and this joystick overrides it at any time. We can always okay. override it with the primary joystick control. Gotcha. We can swap controls if you're left-handed or right-handed very quickly right here. Um, if you're operating joystick left-handed, you'll be using the fire control on the right side. Okay. The master fire control here turns turns power on to the remote trigger. Okay. So it's totally powerless in, until we do that. So there's no chance of a malfunction okay. or the trigger going nuts. And then this is a big switch that we can just sweep, sweep down. You can see we're armed. We sweep down like that. It's safe. It's bake out safe. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so all you have to do now is image swap. Up a target. You can go ahead and put your thumb there and push left, and that'll swap your scope view and then rot and use your and joystick to put it on target. Go ahead and put the... Uh, go live. Yeah, go live. And then... Flip this up. Flip that up. When you get on target, take the shot when you feel comfortable. Let's get back on target. Bam! Kill shot. 
Okay, nice. Guys. <laughs> now you can try to do it unstabilized. Oh. Try to do it unstabilized? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, it's actually physically impossible to try to shoot with a, with that much movement on, right. a scope, on a scoped weapon. So, yeah, I just kind of, we like to show that because it's, it's it, it, we don't have a capability of doing that right now. This allows us to do that. So what kind of, uh, so you can mount this on anything, really? Anything. anything. We have a universal mounting plate up front that, uh, that will allow it to, go very quickly into helicopters, boats, vehicles. Uh, we shot it from everything, from a... Prius? What's that? <laughs> I said a Prius? Yeah, we could we had it on top of a Prius. A, we had it on top of a Range Rover. In, one of the old ones, you know, the, the hood. Yeah. And the hood is just buckling sheet metal. <laughs> and we're driving over through fields and it's just rock solid. So, nice. Yeah, we, we have a universal mounting plate that can go on anything. Strap, we can strap it onto anything. And, and I assume it'll handle full auto. Yeah, it'll handle full auto. We shoot, we shop, we shoot full auto with it. Our, we have a new version this year that has a 500 round ammo box that goes in here, and we can use either a saw or like the Ares Defense uh, full auto upper, yeah. and uh, have 500 rounds. We'll work with U.S. Towers to put it up on one of their tower systems to run it. Up. The fall protection and that kind of thing over here. So, so you mount it on a building. We can mount it on top of a building very quickly and they'll have 500 rounds to use so you before they have to even service it. From a distance. And I guess it's distance or we can we can we can hardwire this into a deal or we can have a long cable right. to get you off uh, in a in a secure Safer. area. You can be inside the building. Inside or in a, in behind some bags, sandbags, whatever. You don't have to be in in you know out exposed. Right. Same with the gets the shooters out of the doorway of the helicopters yeah. so they're not hitting out the door exposed completely to small arms fire they're, they're more back in boats I'm boats. Sure this would have a huge application on boats. Rib boats are good, very good. We 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 done a lot of rib boat application. Our video shows it on all three platforms. It's all night vision goggle capable. Uh, so it's all all the all the lighting on it. The screen is uh, MVG compatible. Okay. For nods. I guess you could hardwire this into yeah, like a, a head cam or something like that too. You could, yeah. You could actually have a video feed onto eye on a, a glass. Mm -hmm. You could also like if you're doing nighttime, uh, just goggle with a laser. Uh, IR laser, you could black out completely and just watch the laser and uh, just shoot, shoot, shoot on the laser and keep everything blacked out. Very cool. The remote trigger is a key. It clamps on very quickly to any any trigger and uh, hand uh, guard there or uh, uh, handle. Uh, How does that operate? It basically uh, is a is a servo that actually once it's clamped on, everything's controlled with the circuit board here. So. We're able to, uh, this has no power run whatsoever unless we give it power with the master switch. So everything is contained here. Uh, so it can't, it can't malfunction without power. There's no, right. absolutely no power. And that's why we did it, we wired it that way so that it, it, there's no chance of a false signal going to it and right. sending the round. Uh, so once you put and arm the system on the master controller and you get an arm light, now it has power. And you would that that would be like taking your safety off, and uh, and that point we do have a, a cover safety here, and then that would be your fire button. And again, no matter what's happening, at any time all you have to do is sweep down, and it disables that system. So if there ever was a malfunction, you could you could immediately cut. Cool. Well, it's all right, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. You bet. It's an awesome system you got here. Yeah, thank so you. So if somebody wants to get in touch with you about one of these systems, how do they do that? Uh, ParadigmSRP.com and fill out our info. It's uh, Right now it's primarily for law enforcement and military. Uh, we do have some private contractor sa sales in the, in the works, but... Uh, not uh, really for the civilian uh, population uh, just it, yet, right? It is if they're vetted. The problem is price point. It's no different than a, 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 a movie camera system on a, on a helicopter. It's the same technology. Yeah. So the price point tends to be a little higher than the normal What civilian. kind of price point are we talking about? Uh, it, the uh, U.S. or North American pricing is about 270000 Okay. Yeah. 270000 There you go, guys. Go pick you one up.
up or two <laughs> and mount it on your Prius. <laughs> Demo price. It would be like, check them out, guys. Paradigm SRP. Paradigm SRP. Special research and programs. Todd, appreciate it. Thanks. Appreciate it. Awesome. OSSUM. 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 Awesome.